Next on Auto Show TV, we visit Al Cerrone at Cerrone Chevy Buick GMC. We head to Colonial Toyota in Smithfield for the Auto Intelligence New Car Walk Around. Brian Benoit from the Anchor Auto Group gives us some important things to think about when buying a pre-owned vehicle. Also a car care tip from Jim Melvin at Melvin's Tire Pros, and we check out some pre-owned vehicles at Stamus Auto and Truck Center in Cranston. That's all next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Well, good morning. Welcome to Auto Show TV. I'm John Coletto. Among our stops today, a visit to Cerrone's in South Attleboro, Cerrone Chevrolet Buick GMC. We'll talk with Al Cerrone and learn a little bit more about the beautiful new 2014 Chevy Cruze and the gorgeous Chevrolet Impala, newly redesigned for this year as well. We'll do that in just a few minutes, but first we're going up to North Smithfield and Colonial Toyota. Ashley Fishback has our auto intelligence new car walk around. She's gonna be checking out the beautiful 2014 redesigned Toyota Highlander. Hi, I'm Ashley Fishback. This morning's Auto Intelligence new vehicle walk around takes us here to the new Colonial Toyota in Smithfield. We're going to get an up close look at the 2014 redesigned Toyota Highlander. Families on the go have made the new Highlander a top seller. It's an Auto Intelligence recommended midsize SUV for a variety of exciting reasons. Just about every major automotive reviewer, including Auto Intelligence, gives the new Highlander top marks across the board in the ultra-competitive midsize SUV category. Toyota has succeeded in making a terrific vehicle even better. And this is Amanda Sperry. She's going to help us out with our walk around. Amanda, the new Highlander is gorgeous. Yes, it's, uh, the 2014 Highlander is all new, fully redesigned with a bold new exterior style, as you can see. Um, they've made quite a few changes to the vehicle. The body is longer and wider while increasing the aerodynamics on the vehicle to make it more efficient. It's going to give you more seating capacity. It gives you upgraded stereo, interior design, technology. There's so much, it's so much to list. You know, I can't wait to show you. Amanda, the first thing I noticed is the grille. It looks completely different. As you can see, there's a lot of chrome trim in the front. It's completely redesigned. Gives it a bold, new, aggressive look. LED he headlamps as well as fog lamps. So it's much different than the previous year model. So Ashley, these are 19-inch chrome tech alloy wheels, which are new for the 2014 Highlander. It also comes with exterior turning signals, which increase safety. Um, it has also given you a chrome tech roof rack system as well. In the back, we have a few things going on. Uh, first thing, we have a rear popping glass hatch for easy access. Um, so it definitely makes it very nice when shopping. You can just throw things in and continue buying more stuff. <laughs> um, you also have a back camera as well. Um, I certainly need that. So. Yeah, <laughs> makes it very easy to back up into spaces and out of spaces and being able to see what's behind you. Um, it also has a power lift gate, as you can see. All you have to do is just touch it, automatically open for you. All right, Amanda, let's get to the fun stuff. All right. These seats are so comfortable. Can you tell me a little bit, are they heated? Yes, they're actually heated and cooled. Ooh. It's an eight-way power driver's seat with lumbar support. Could you tell us a little bit about the steering wheel controls? Yeah, we have um, audio controls on the left-hand side, which will control volume, channel changer, it has a mode button which can change AM to FM, CD, auxiliary to your 90 day free trial of Sirius XM radio. That's awesome. Also has your Bluetooth controls as well. On the right hand side is going to be your information display. You have a small LCD screen between your speedometer and tachometer which give you different options. So could you tell us about the touch screen right here? Yeah, everything is touch screen. Um, it has IntelliTouch buttons as well, so it's very easy to touch the button and it'll adjust for you. Um, it does come with navigation, JBL, Green Edge speakers as well. You can customize it into a two panel or three panel, depending on what you'd like to see. You can have your map up as well as some speed dials and also HD weather will come up as well. Um, so it's very helpful and it's fully customizable. On your overhead controls, you also have your sunroof, moonroof, which is very easy. It's a one-touch, so it can open That's all great. on its own, and a one-touch to close. 
as well as Homelink, where you can actually pair your garage door opener and you don't have to have that clip on your visor anymore, which is very nice. That's really convenient. <laughs> So Ashley, here we have our second row captain's chairs, which come in the limited. Um, they are fully adjustable. They are reclinable. They can slide forward as well to give your third row extra space, which is very convenient. They also have captain's arms, very comfortable for long drives as well. Um, you do have sunshades on your windows, which make it very nice, especially for children in long trips so they don't have a lot of sun in their eyes. Back here we have a ton of cargo capacity. If you can actually believe it, uh, the Highlander comes standard with a third row seat. Um, let me show you where it's located, which is easily brought up by pulling your first long strap and easily reclined by pulling your second oh, wow. row strap. The headrest can slide right up and you have a 60-40 split, so the other side can come up as well, which is very convenient. In the back, for the new 2014 Highlander, we have increased cargo capacity behind the third row seat, and there's also a storage bin in here as well for added storage. Amanda, the new Highlander is terrific. Please tell our viewers why they should come up to Smithfield to buy or lease a new Highlander. Well, Colonial Toyota is one of the largest state-of-the-art facilities in New England. We have free service loaners and a free service shuttle to better serve our customers and two year 25,000 miles of free maintenance on every new Toyota purchase. Come join us under the gateway to savings with our mascot Teddy. Give us a try. Make us your last stop for your best deal. Colonial! Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips presented by Melvin's Tire Pros where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. We are in the showroom here at Melvin's Tire Pros in Warwick with Jim Melvin. We're going to talk about oil and yep. changing your oil. And I've never met anyone who can talk with such passion and at such great length about engine oil as you, Jim. John, in the old days, it was a standard rule of thumb. You change your oil every 3,000 miles. Now, that certainly still exists. But what happens is with a, a lot of the newer technology in cars today, a lot of these cars come as original equipment with synthetic motor oil which requires longer limitations on, you can go 7,500 miles uh, between oil changes. Go based on your manufacturer's recommend. See what it says, between three and 7,500 miles, and we can certainly take care of it at any one of our stores. The synthetic, their synthetic blend, can you kind of dis differentiate between those? Certainly. You know, when synthetic oil first came out, there were a lot of questions out there. Can I do regular oil change one change, go to synthetic the next? The answer is yes, you can switch back every time. You can do it whenever you want. The whole thing with synthetic oil is synthetic oil lubricates about 15 times faster than regular oil. Now, what that does is all the damage to your car is done initially at startup when all the oil is in the bottom of the motor. You start the car up, the oil pump pumps the engine to the top of the motor and lubricates it. So because synthetic oil lubricates 15 times faster and its life is virtually double, it's always a good idea to go with the synthetic because it's better for your motor and you can go 7,500 miles between intervals. Bring your car in. We're not going to do just the oil change. We're going to replace the oil. We're going to replace the oil filter. We're going to top off all your fluids. We're going to check the air in your tires. We're going to give the car a good once over to make sure things like belts and hoses are in good working condition. So folks, if you're ready for your next oil change, Jim, stop in today to any one of our AAA approved auto service centers or check us online, tireprosri.com for great money saving coupons. And remember, Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. Next, Al Cerrone shows us the gorgeous new Chevy Impala. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new used and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey.
If you've got a business, you probably rely on your truck to keep you in business. At Elmwood, we've been servicing the best businesses in Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass for over 30 years. We've got one of the only heavy-duty truck lifts in New England, and we service everything. Dodges, Fords, Chevys, or GMC. And we specialize in Sprinters. No matter what brand, we're a factory-authorized Sprinter service center. And for your convenience, we're open all day on Saturdays, and we'll even provide you with a loaner vehicle. The Elmwood Heavy-Duty Truck Center on Route 44 in East Providence or online at elmwoodcdjr.com. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced, and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles, and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard and pre-owned deal. Here's Auto Show TV's news and notes. Courtesy Kia's sparkling new facility in South Attleboro is now open. The dealership moved into its new headquarters this past week. The new address is 795 Newport Avenue in South Attleboro, just down the street from Cardi's Furniture. The next generation Honda Fit is about to arrive in showrooms. The 2015 Fit sports a sleek new exterior and lots of forward-thinking technology. Look for the new Fit at Sakuchi Honda and Majestic Honda. We're visiting this morning at our official Auto Show TV go-to experts for all things Chevrolet Buick GMC, and that is Cerrone's in South Attleboro on Route 1. And here he is, probably the most recognizable face in all of Rhode Island television, Al Cerrone. It's great to be here. Oh, thank you, John. You're too kind with that, <laughs> but it is great to be here. And thanks for coming into my show. Well, we have a lot that we want to talk about with you uh, between the, the Cruise and the Malibu and now the new Impala. Things are pretty good in Chevrolet world, aren't they? Oh, they are. We're going to focus on the Cruise and the Malibu and the Impala, but yes, the Spark and the Sonic are, are our smaller cars that get, by the way, fabulous gas mileage. The Spark is probably in the 40s, you know, miles per gallon. So we do have something for everyone. And by the way, the Spark is a brand new vehicle, brand new Chevy that you can buy for under $13,000. Well, let's step back and look at the, the, the new Cruise. It, it's a small car. This is not a small car. This is almost a mid-sized car, but the way it drives on the highway, it's quiet, it's smooth, and it's got a turbo four-cylinder, so you get the power and the gas mileage. It delivers 38 miles per gallon highway. And it's a great-looking vehicle. Oh, thank you. Yep, the younger people like it. Matter of fact, my daughter's first car. But let me tell you a little bit about the amenities. The Chevy Cruze LTs, come with the power windows and power locks. They come with cruise control, nice stereo system. They have the USB ports. Uh, they have uh, Bluetooth. I mean, they, they, there are a lot of extras with the car and it's a $21,000 car, but they also lease very well. You can lease one now. There's a national lease from Chevrolet that's under 200 per month, no money down. It, it includes everything except sales tax. If you want one with low mileage at 2014, and of course the LT model, we're going to have them on special for the month of May for $15,900. And that's maybe a 10, 11, 12,000 mile car. Here's an Auto Show TV Did You Know. Al Cerrone's younger brother Michael is famous because he's A, a Hollywood screenwriter, B, a former Major League catcher, or C, the original bass player for Aerosmith. We'll have the answer in just a minute. Al, well, here it is, the 2014, the redesigned Chevrolet Impala. This oh, is yeah. such a spectacular car. It, it, it really is, and you know, I've never seen a car get so many accolades even before it's released. By the way, I want to move away so the viewers can get sure. a look at that pretty grill. So Chevrolet did a great job with the 14 Impala. A lot of people come into the showroom and they say, we just want to see it, we heard all about it. The car's a little bit over $30,000, but it competes in a segment uh, with cars that are more than that. So yeah. it's really a lot of value. And for a six, it gets good gas mileage, right? It does. The gas mileage with the V6 engine, it's a 3.6 V6, is in the high 20s. But if you're really fuel conscious, then you have the Eco model, which is the four-cylinder engine, and it gets you 36 or 38 miles per gallon. I mean, that's fantastic. Now it really is, especially when you consider the size car that you're getting. So Al, here's one of the 2014 program Impalas that you sell so many of. 
Um, tell us about this and why they're still so enormously popular. Well, I think uh, the car has been popular for many. The Impala name goes so far oh, back. Sure. I can't even recall how far back it goes. My but, dad had Impalas in the 60s, so I know they go back at least that far. Okay, you're dating yourself. I know. This is good. But we can go to a closed General Motors auction and buy these cars with very low mileage in their 2014s. This car originally, the window sticker price, the original window sticker price on the Impala LTs, which come with a sunroof, is $29,000. So when you think of what you can buy them for with very low mileage, 10, 12, 14, 15,000 miles, you're looking at a sale price of approximately 16,000. And, and the, we've got different colors. And the balance of the warranty. Oh, the warranty is big because General Motors has the five year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. The cars are well equipped. Comfortable convenience options that the people really like, like a power seat so you can adjust that seat so when you're driving, you're comfortable. Power windows, power locks, a nice sound system. They have OnStar. Uh, they have front wheel drive, so they're good in the snow. They have a V6 engine, and this car gets 27.5 miles per gallon. And I can tell you, because I drive an Impala currently. Here's our did you know answer. Al Cerrone's younger brother Michael is famous because he is A, a Hollywood screenwriter. Michael's collaborated with the Farrelly brothers many times, including working on movies like Me, Myself, and Irene, The Three Stooges, and Dumb and Dumber 2. Al, this was great. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot about Chevrolet and Cerrone, but I have to ask you one more thing. What's that? Do you miss Oldsmobile? Oh my God, do I miss Oldsmobile. We can't forget how great a company Oldsmobile was. Back then it was considered the poor man's Cadillac. Sure. And I got in at a time, 1977, where we had three of the top 10 best-selling nameplates in America, the Sierra, the Supreme, the Delta 88. So Oldsmobile was really where it's at. Not to mention the fact that Oldsmobile made me their dealer at 23 years old. What were they thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I guess they wanted the other guy out badly. But, but at, that, that? at that time, I was the youngest, to my knowledge, the youngest Oldsmobile dealer that they ever had in this country. And if you need a Chevrolet, Buick, GMC product, this is the place. Auto Show TV's go-to experts. Cerrone's in South Attleboro. See the Cerrone's, you'll be glad you did. It's time for our pre-owned segment now on Auto Show TV. We're at Stamus Auto and Truck Center in Cranston. You know Bill Cattles, he's been on the show many, many times. Tell us about your selection. You always have great cars. You always have a lot of trucks for our viewers. We're very selective, as well as the vehicle itself and the pricing. The pricing is just as important. We try to stay up on the three percentile as far as the selling price, what brings a lot of our people in. Uh, in saying this, let's get on with the show. Let's check out some of the vehicles you've picked out for us today. Summertime is finally here. For all you convertible enthusiasts, we're gonna start off with this 2005 Mitsubishi Spider, automatic, leather. The biggest thing about this vehicle, in a vehicle search, you cannot find one of these vehicles for 200 miles away from us in the state of New Jersey. Vehicle runs absolutely brand new. You can actually have this vehicle for $84.50. Our next vehicle is this 1990 Corvette convertible. Only 87,000 miles on this vehicle. This vehicle also comes along with a hard top in which there was only 185 factory hard tops put on these vets. So with that being said, this is a one in a lifetime type of vehicle. You can purchase this vehicle for $11,995. Before we start with our truck selection, our featured truck selection today, I'd like to introduce you to Lee Stamus Jr., who's new to the sales force here at Stamus Auto. For any questions, anybody looking for a diesel truck, this is the man to speak to. So in saying this, any emails can be directed to Lee Stamus Jr. at stamusauto.com and also give them a call, 401-946-9594. Our next vehicle is this 2011 Ram 1500 Laramie. This vehicle is absolutely, absolutely brand new. Only 48,000 miles. This truck, green, with the accent gold trim. You can see the nice big chrome wheels on the vehicle. Does have leather, sunroof, navigation, heated seats, you name it, it has it. 
Come down today, drive it, you'll buy it. This vehicle can be purchased at $28,995 with a retail value of over $34,000. And our last featured vehicle today is this 2009 Mustang GT 45th Anniversary Edition. Five speed, one owner, blue, you see the racing stripe, the fancy bullet wheels. In fact, it could actually be a bullet edition. This vehicle is royal blue, black interior, like I said, a five speed and a one owner. You can save over $4,000 on this vehicle. Anyone that's pressing for a nice little fancy vehicle to be driving a sports type, this is the vehicle for you. Bill, great job as always. What else would you like to tell the viewers before we go? Well, John, our new summertime hours, before we used to be open from 8.30 to 7 in the morning, we are open now until 8 o'clock in the evening. Our Saturday hours still remain the same, 8.30 to 5, and Sundays, 12 to 4 in the afternoon. You can also join us on the web which is stamusauto.com, and our phone number is 401-946-9594. Thank you. Next up, some things to think about if you're buying a pre-owned car. You're watching Auto Show TV. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. Since 1981, International Motor Group has been helping people find the car they love without the high pressure hassle. From Chevys to Fords to Acuras to Volkswagens, we keep a wide variety of cars. Add to that a fully dedicated service team and IMG is committed to keeping you and your car on the road safely. Come by and meet the guys who started it all and find the car you've always wanted. International Motor Group, Post Road on the Warwick East Greenwich Line. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. We came to Sandy Motors to see what their inventory was like, looked around, and I spotted this lovely Mercedes behind me. Took it for a test drive, absolutely loved it. I can tell you that I've recommended Sandy Motors to many of my friends, and I know some of them have purchased cars here. Uh, one of the reasons is I trust Sandy Motors. I know they're gonna treat everyone fairly. Uh, it was such a great experience, and a pleasant experience, actually, such that we came right back here when we needed to purchase a car for our youngest daughter. You're watching Auto Show TV. If you're thinking about buying a pre-owned vehicle, here's some things to think about. I met recently with Brian Benoit at Anchor Nissan and learned about their process of evaluating a used vehicle because there's more to it than meets the eye. Brian, what are you doing there? What is that thing? Oh, uh, this, is a, uh, this is an electronic paint meter. Paint meter? Yeah, this is, this is kind of a cool device. This is the first thing we do when we start inspecting a car that's a potential trade-in. See what it does is it measures the thickness of the paint on a car, the mills of thickness of paint on the car. And I know you're asking, oh, you're I wondering. Oh, I know where you're going with this. Uh, yeah, you're wondering why I'm measuring the thickness of the paint. Well, here's the thing. It's an easy indicator for us to find out if there's been any aftermarket paint on the vehicle, which could be an indicator of an accident. So that's the first thing we're looking for. So at that point, does that trigger you or one of your guys to think, maybe there's been an accident here, maybe it's been something structural, maybe not, but you're certainly gonna go digging. Sure, yeah, that, that certainly puts up the red flag. That's not the only thing we look for for paint work. We measure it, and then we're also looking for overlapping paint lines and things like that. But once we found something, now we have to go try to find out what's the root of the paint work. Now you could have a little, you know, bump with somebody in a parking lot. That's not a big deal. Or you could have a structurally damaging big accident where panels are being replaced and the structural integrity, the strength of the car is now in question. And if you don't find any paint difference in terms of the thickness, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you stop there and go, okay, this car is good to go. You still have a process. Absolutely. Um, 
you know, and a lot of people would say, hey, why don't you, why don't you just pull a Carfax and, and, you know, put an end to it. Um, you know, Carfax isn't going to show you everything. Um, in a lot of cases, they miss a lot of things. So most people have the same, the same concerns when they're, when they're looking at a pre-owned car. There's, there's basically three concerns. Has the vehicle been hit? And unfortunately, most of the decision on that is, is hanging on a Carfax in most people's minds. But has the, has the vehicle been hit? Uh, am I buying someone else's problems? And am I getting a good value? Based on the condition of this car, am I getting a good value? That's, that's everybody's concern. That's my concern. That's my concern when I'm looking to buy a car. Can I provide that? Can I provide a car to the next consumer that hasn't been hit, um, that isn't wrought with, with issues and problems, that can serve the customer for, for many, many years, and are they, getting, are they getting a good value? And a lot of that value question comes in, what is the condition of the car body-wise and structurally? But we also have a process from our, from our appraisers to our managers to our um, technicians who prep the vehicles to look for structural damage. We all know how to do it, both on top of the vehicle and underneath the vehicle. So once we've established that the vehicle is structurally sound and it's a vehicle that we would put our own families in, then we're comfortable going to the next step, which is the mechanical assessment of the vehicle and cleanliness of it, value of it, and so forth. There are people who look at the car thoroughly, find out the pros and cons to the car, and choose to maybe ignore some of the cons, the not so good people in the business. And then yes, there are people who just don't do the job thoroughly enough because they rely on other things, things like Carfax reports, uh, vehicle history reports that give them what I call superficial information and maybe lull them to sleep into thinking this car is more than what it might be. Clean Carfax, call it a day, that customer is probably going to be fine with that. Right. Legally, I'm potentially covered. I've I've done my due diligence because I've run the VIN number on a computer and the information coming out of that computer says this car is okay. There's no way that all the information that you need to know about this car can be gained by running a report. And those reporting sources, Carfax, Auto Checks, all of these types of sources, will readily tell you that if you actually read the disclaimer on their reports. They'll tell you that they can't find all the information and you should do your due diligence when you're looking at a pre-owned vehicle. The problem is, with all the hype in the commercials, it's kind of gotten everybody thinking, as long as you show me the Carfax and everything's good on the Carfax, I'm good to go. If, if that power window stops working, we can put a brand new power window motor in that, and it's back to new condition. If this vehicle is, is damaged structurally, there's no coming back from that. If I'm not comfortable putting my family in this car, I certainly wouldn't be comfortable asking you to put your family in the car. Thanks for watching us this morning on Auto Show TV. I'm John Coletto, and remember everybody, don't drink and drive, don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.